All right, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to send a confirmation email after somebody fills up your Google form. I have this very simple form here. See, it's asking for email, name, zip code. It doesn't matter what's in the form. And all that information goes to this spreadsheet. So really the only thing here in this form we want to do we want to make sure that we're actually gathering email address. So the way you do that, you go to your settings, which is this gear icon all the way on top right here. I'm going to open that and you want to make sure this collect email addresses is checked. That's pretty much all we have to do in the form. The rest of the form, it doesn't matter. You can do your own form, whatever fields you have are fine. So with this, what we're going to do, we're going to basically create a script that's going to send an email every time somebody fills up this form and send that email to the person that actually fills up the form. So whatever email is typed here in this email address, that's where it's going to be sent. Now to do this, we're going to have to use app scripts events. So uh, here's our events documentation. So there are different events depending on what Google application you use. So if we use Google sheets, it has its own events. For example, we have open spreadsheet event, change event, edit event. Google sheets also have form submit event which we can actually use to do what we're about to do, but that's not what I'm going to use today. So I'm going to keep scrolling down Google Docs until I find Google Forms. There it is, Google Forms events. That's what I'm looking for. So in events for Google Forms, we have open and we have form submit. And that's what we're going to use on our Google Forms to actually send our confirmation emails. So I'm going to go back to my form. I'm going to click on this little more icon right here and I'm going to look for script editor. I'm going to open the script editor should look like this. I'm going to create a function here. Whatever function here is fine. I'm just going to rename this to make this a little prettier. I'm going to call this send email. It's good. You can call it whatever you want. That's the function. Now in this function, we're going to write the script to actually make that happen. Now this is going to be an event that's going to be triggered. This function is going to be triggered by that event when somebody fills up the form and that is going to accept an event object here. So I'm going to call that E. Now let's try to go and look at that documentation. So see, that's going to be this event thing and that's going to have these things in this object. So we're going to have the response, we're going to have the source and we're going to have the ID. So that event is going to have this response in it, which is going to be this object, which is a form response. So I'm going to just copy that response. Let's keep that in mind. So if we look inside of that response if i go back here that's going to be a form response i'm going to open this it's going to have its own methods see it's going to have uh, get id get item responses and one of those methods is get respondent email so that should give us a string email so let's also just copy that so we have this too so that's a method that will give us the email and that email is basically going to be whatever was typed in in this email box. Now to do this whole thing, we're going to use a few different things. So we need to use HTML service to create an HTML email. We're going to have to use Gmail app to be sending emails. And then finally, we're going to use the actual object that's going to be basically sending this information from this form. So let's get started by creating that email. So I'm going to go under file, new, create an HTML file. That's going to be our HTML email. I'm going to call this email, hit OK. That's going to be our HTML email. So here I'm going to do the actual HTML for our email. It can be whatever you want. I'm just going to keep this as simple as possible. I'm going to make a paragraph here like this in here, we're going to make a paragraph. We're going to say, thanks for 
feeling out the form. And then we'll do another paragraph here. And that will be something like best regards. We'll do a break and do, I'll send this to a new line just to make this look nice, I guess. Best regards, our team. You can write your own HTML, that doesn't matter. Whole point is this is gonna be our HTML email. You can create it any way you like. I'm gonna save this. This is called email HTML. That's the name of the file. Now I'm gonna go back to my code. I need to create that HTML out of this. So to do this, we're gonna use HTML service. So I'm gonna create var HTML equals to, we're gonna use HTML service dot and here we're gonna do create template from file and the file name is this file right here, email HTML. So that's gonna be email.html. That's the file. I guess we're gonna leave it at that. And then I'm gonna create another variable. I'm gonna call it HTML text. To create that text, I'm gonna take my HTML and do this method called get code, which should get us string HTML. So that's that, semicolon to end the line. So this HTML text should be the text HTML version of whatever HTML we have here in this HTML file. Now that we have this, we should be able to send an email using Gmail app using that HTML text. So let's try to use that. So Gmail app dot. So in this Gmail app, you have this method called send email. And the send email has a few different ways of using it. One of them is this. So we need to provide who we're sending this to. So for now, I'm going to create some variables here, which we're going to use later on. So I'm going to say var email to and we'll just leave this empty for now. So later on, we'll populate it with the email for the person who will be getting that email. That's gonna be this. The subject, so let's create a variable for that. Subject, and that's gonna be, thanks, that's the subject line for the email, thanks for participating, something like that. And that's gonna be the subject line that's gonna go here. We already have that. Now the other two, I'm gonna have to take a look really quickly here to see this. So this is our Gmail app documentation, send email, that's that. It says, so we have this subject, body and options, advanced parameters. So there it is, HTML body is one of the parameters here. So that's what we're going to use to send the actual email because we're trying to send an HTML email here. Uh, I wonder if we still have to set the body. Let's see, attachment example, please see the attached file and then we have all of this stuff. Okay, that kind of makes sense. That means the body so we'll say var text body, and that will be, let me do this. That will be this email requires HTML support. Please make sure you open with a client that supports it, so it doesn't matter. It's just a message when HTML support is turned off. It could also be a text version, I guess, of your email, but that's what I'm gonna do there, text body, and that's gonna go here, so text body. 
finally, we need to set these options. So since this is called options here, I'll create a variable options. And that's an object. And that object is gonna have this property HTML body, which should be the actual HTML body, which will be our HTML text right here, because I believe it said HTML body here should be string. Yep, good. So this will be the body, this will be the text body when it doesn't support HTML. And then finally, we'll have this thanks for participating, which the subject line is. So the only thing we now need to do is provide an appropriate email address. And that email is supposed to come from here. So to get that, we need to remember, we're gonna use this, this E, we're gonna get the response, we're gonna get the email address. So email to, I'm gonna take that E, in that E, we're gonna have this response. And in that response, we should have this method get respondent email based on our documentation. Now, before we actually go ahead and send our email, maybe we should make sure that that email exists. So we're gonna say if that email to is not undefined, then we'll send the email. Save this, I think that should do it. Now to make sure that I give all the permissions here that are necessary, I'm gonna have to run this function. Now when I run that function, it's not gonna have all that, uh, you know, the respondent get email, all of that is not gonna be available because we're not submitting the form. But that's fine, we just do this to make sure we give all the permissions for the script. So I'm gonna run this. See, it's gonna ask for permissions. I'm gonna open that. I'm gonna give all the permissions necessary. Allow that. And see, it's now undefined, the response, because this should be triggered by our uh, event, not just manually run this, but it doesn't matter. We're gonna just dismiss that. Now with this now, I'm gonna go back and try to fill out the form. So let's open the actual form. So let's fill this out. Let's see what we get. Submit a form and check what happened. So I'm gonna go to the send folder of my Gmail to see what's going on. Apparently nothing, let's go back. Oh, of course, I forgot to set up the whole trigger to run this function. Yeah, so I created this function, but this function is not gonna know to run until I set it up to run every time somebody actually fills out the form. And to get that done, this is where we have to set up a trigger. So I'm gonna go under this edit, another edit menu here, there is current projects triggers. I'm gonna click on that. Right now, no triggers here. As you can see, I'm gonna go here on bottom right, add trigger. And I want to trigger that function. I called it send email. If you called it something else, you wanna make sure that matches. Then this should be head, that's fine. We want to trigger this function from the form. And we want to trigger this when somebody submits that form. So I'm gonna switch this to on form submit. If that script fails, you can get notifications. I'm gonna do a weekly, that's good enough for me. And then just save. That should set up the trigger to make sure we run that every time we actually do this. So apparently I have to do this. So again, permissions. Save one more time. Hopefully that permission stuff worked because I had a blocker and it didn't let that initial screen to pop up right away. But otherwise you should get that screen right away and just give permissions. So I'm gonna go test this again. I'm gonna go back to my form. 
refresh this thing. Let me fill this out. Hit submit. Go back and check my send for my Gmail. There it is. I have received the email and this is what was sent. I'm going to go check what it looks like. And we have some problems here. So that created that whole JavaScript function instead of doing the actual HTML itself. But email was sent. That was the good part. Our HTML didn't work properly. So we're going to have to go back and fix this. I'm going to go back to my code again. So apparently this is where it went wrong. Getting this code didn't work. So we need to fix that. I'm going to have to troubleshoot that and see what happened there. So I'm going to do logger.log and I'll print out this HTML text, save this and just run this. So I'll get that error, but that's fine. I want to take a look at my logs so far. So that's what I'm getting out of this. That's the problem. I shouldn't be getting all of this. It should be just my HTML. So what I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try to do evaluate on this HTML. And then we'll so get content. See, that seems like it's going to give us the string. So we're going to not use this get code. I thought that would generate it. Documentation looked like it, but I was wrong. So dismiss this. I'm going to look at the log. That's much better. That looks like a proper HTML result now. So this should work. So I'm going to take this away, save this and go back and submit my form one more time. So reload this. Submit. All right, let's go take a look at our sent emails. There is the new one. See, it's thanks for participating. That's the email. And we have the proper email generated. All of that looks good. So yeah, that works. We can make this more personalized if we wanted to. So technically we could go and grab all that name and all that information and then use it in our email too to take this to the next level. But I'm trying to keep this simple. This should send us a confirmation message for the participant and it works. And if you wanted to modify your email, you can go back to your script, open this HTML and just type whatever you need. Just create your HTML message and that should just work out. That should do it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.